everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm back with your uh, remaining month of October reading start from the 22nd through the 31st of October 2020. This is going to be for the sign of Leo. So let's see what is coming for you guys for the remaining month of uh, October time. I will be adding charms, I will be pulling out oracle cards as well. So stay tuned and uh, while I shuffle the cards, let me remind you, it's a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there, so always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest. For personal readings, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. And uh, you can also check out my sister's tarot channel as well. I will be adding the link to her channel in the comment section. If you like it, you can always become a part of her YouTube family as well. So, yeah, Leos. Uh, you are feeling a pull towards someone. Someone uh, that you have been with. It's like... Um, Somebody that you might have ran away from is somebody who is pulling you back towards them. It's like, you know, maybe you have been away from this person for quite some time and now you're feeling the pull towards them. You really want to spend time with them. It doesn't have to be something long term, but I feel like, you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, it, it can be a reconciliation where, or a momentarily, uh, you know, connection that you that you are going to have with a, uh, with a specific someone. But it's um it's very immature, like, you know, it is going to be different for different people, but yeah, that's what I'm picking up. Let's see more cards here. Let's see what else is coming up for you guys for the remaining month of October. Let's begin. King of Cups. Feeling love towards someone that you have ended a connection with already. So it's it's like uh, it's going to be different for different Leos. Like, you know, like I said uh, in the, in the you know, uh, with the card that, it, you know, that fell off. Um... Seven of Souls energy. For some of you, maybe you are going to go back to the past person because, uh, which is which which uh, which is going to be very momentarily. Like you are going to reach out to them, talk to them for some time, and then you're gonna maybe even plan to meet them up, and then it's all gonna end. But for others of you, I feel like you, know, you are feeling strong emotions and pull for a person that you have ended a connection with. So uh, maybe you are going to reach out to them um, because your love, emotions, feelings have become strong. In fact, they have basically developed because I feel like, you know, you have transformed from a different you that you have been in the past with them. Um, your emotions were never there before. It's like, you know, the emotions that you are having, the feelings that you're having for this person now is something that you never, which, which never existed in the past. Let's see more cards here. Wow. Two of cups. Ta-da. The emotions, love, feelings that you have for this person is like uh, never before. This connection that you are feeling for them is something that you never felt for anyone in the past. And you never thought being the kind of person that you are. Maybe you are very uh, fiery kind of a person. You really uh, don't um, express your love, feelings easily. And when you do, it's like, you know, you just give your all into it. So that's what I'm picking up. Like, you know, maybe you, 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 you were like, you know, a complete different person back then. And now it's like, you know, your love is overflowing. You, you might be kind of, you know, presenting them a lot of gifts as well. You might be proposing them. You might be kind of, you know, um, reaching out to them with, with some gifts or something. But yes, I do see that there is a strong connection pull that you are feeling for this one person. Uh, let's see more cards. Ten of Wands. You really don't want to bring the past into this communication that you're gonna have in the in the meeting that you're gonna meet yeah, that you're gonna have with this person. You really don't want to bring the past in. You really want to forget what has happened. You have changed, and you want this person to forget the past and just you know give this connection a new start. That's what you're looking for in this connection with them. Let's take one more card. Five of Wands. Let's take one last card. Three of Wands. Let's take two more cards here. The Moon. Okay, underneath the deck we do have the judgment, underneath that we do have ten of cups. 
I feel like you know with you guys it seems like um, seeing the energies here it seems like your love emotions are getting strong but with the seven of swords that came up in the very beginning I feel like you know the energies are pretty much kind of you know clarifying the situation there um, your love your feelings is getting strong which you never felt for anyone and that's why you are reaching out to this person with a lot of uh, expression as well but then you're gonna feel like you know, maybe I'm doing too much maybe I'm overdoing things maybe I'm doing this and that and that's gonna be like you know the thing again where you're gonna start stressing around it and again it is something very unusual for you to feel a certain way for a specific someone which is you know kind of uh, very hard for you to digest right now and I feel like you no know, you you uh, express your love you gonna tell them okay let's forget the past and then you're going to have that you know again the um the thing we're gonna feel like you know maybe i'm overdoing things and maybe i need to kind of you know hold myself back hold my emotions back maybe i'm giving too much into it maybe i need to do this that this that you're gonna have your fears you're gonna have your doubts creeping in again you're gonna start overthinking again you're gonna start thinking like you no know, is is or was that a right move to reach out to them or to to propose them or to talk to them or to gift them something and that's gonna be the 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 shift again so it's going to be like, you know, a momentary happiness that you're going to give to your person and then you're going to feel like, you know, pulling away, you're pulling yourself away from that person again. So that's what I'm picking up coming up for the Leos. It's going to be the time where you would be having, uh, you know, one step ahead, two steps back, one step ahead, two steps back. And that's going to be the energy, but it's not going to last long. This energy is going to change because you're going to soon figure out that you are not overdoing things. You need to express the love. You really love this person. You really have to put an end to the past. You really have to stop um, getting fearful. You really have to stop taking the stress around it. Um, and then, to be very honest, I don't see that, you know, the, the thing's going to settle down in this month's time. I don't see that happening. It's going to be like, on and off energy back and forth energy between you and your person it's like uh, you will feel like you know moving making a move towards them when you do that you're gonna pull yourself away you're gonna you know wait for for things to you know to to settle down again and then you're gonna move forward to it to them and it's gonna be like you know confusing for your person as well because they're gonna feel like you know what i'm doing you know here with you because it's it's like you know maybe the same old you but they don't know that you have strong emotional attachment with them it's like you know it's gonna be the thing where um I feel like, you know, if, even if you pull away this time, I don't think that your person is going to reach out to you. Why? Because they're going to feel like, you know, uh, I, I, because I see you waiting here. I don't see that your person is going to, you know, suppose you reach out to them, you propose them or you start talking to them in a happy way and you express your love for them. And then if you pull yourself away or back from them and if you wait for them to maybe, you know, start texting you or calling you up, they are not going to do that. And that's going to be the moment when you're going to feel like, you know, what's going on? And then you are going to have a realization and then you're going to have that awakening that, you know, maybe things have changed. You need to act mature. You need to take it serious. You need to kind of, you know, find a solution, permanent one, because you cannot treat the person that you are in love with the way you are treating them. You cannot run away from the fact that you have love for them. And that's how you are going to understand things and um, feel what, you know, you might have put them to feel when you were the one who always put you know, uh, pull yourself away and they were the one waiting for you and then you never reached out. So now you're experiencing what they felt in this connection with you before. And I feel like, you know, it's, it's going to be the karmic thing for you happening, you know, the whole thing with you. But eventually I do see you coming back together. I do see you, you know, settling down together, but not in this month time. I feel like you know, it's going to take some time for, uh, for you guys to understand so yeah, let's take Oracle cards now. Let's see what Oracle has to add to the reading. Wow, very dramatic situations. <laughs> let's see what it suggests. Reconciliation is definitely happening. Someone from your past is returning to your life. And it's going to be like, you know, something which is going to, you know, the end result is going to be you two together. Living a happy home life. Where you will not be letting the past situation come in between the two of you any longer. For this, like, I feel like, you know, this person here, the Leo person here needs some time. The energies could be worse for some of uh, you as well. Let's see um, one more oracle and then we're going to take some charms. It's okay, two cards wants to come up. Be bold and make the first move. What do you need to release? You need to release the fear here. And you really have to ask yourself this question. 
uh, what is it that is holding you back even though you have strong love for this person just let that go whatever it is that is holding you back right now just let that go be bold and make a first move towards this person who uh maybe you have ended a connection with them or maybe it was them walking out on you because uh, you were not giving them the commitment whatever the case may have been uh may have been um i do see you taking the action this time but again taking action taking a step back taking action taking a step back but you are going to understand that this person is not going to you know be readily accepting your this behavior any any longer they might have accepted that in the past they might have been the one reaching out to you one when, when you do that to them but this time it's not going to be the case so you have to understand that it's your turn to put the effort so let's see the charms now let's see what the charms has to add to the reading <clears throat> So we do have two alphabets H and P. Your love is overflowing with this, you know, card here. Uh, but yes, you really have to uh, stop uh, playing the past games with this person, with yourself as well. There is a strong protection uh, that you have with this this connection. It's not gonna end, you know. Whether you whether you think it is ending or it is going to end. Uh, you you might have thought that it has ended, it is finished and stuff, but your love, your emotions for this person developed. Love, dream, hope, trust. You and this person are each other's sunshine for sure. So yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you for the remaining month of October time. If the reading resonated with you, do like, subscribe and share. If you're willing to get a personal reading, you can always reach out to me for that on my email ID in the description box. Till I do the next stream for you guys, take care. Bye-bye.